Welcome back. I am going to be showing you how to create roles, manage the permissions, and add them to members, whether it be for a fun role or a admin role given to trusted friends. Timestamps will be in the description if you are looking for a specific thing. All right, so first of all, how do you get to the settings where you can add roles and manage them? Well, there's two ways you can do it. You can right click on your server and go down to seven settings and then select what settings you want. Or you can click on this top button up here, go to set server settings. From there, you can see all the same things you'd be able to see in the other one. So you're just gonna go sit here and you're gonna go to roles. Now, if you have not created a role, it should look something like this. And you can press the button that says create role. This will automatically create a new role. And as you can see, we have two roles. We have at everyone, which is everybody that join, ever joins the server will have this role and you can manage what this will be now for the new role we can go to display name it whatever we want and own custom color or you can use a preset color if your server is boosted you can put a image right here and that will show up to the right of the person's name so it could be just like a simple american flag for a usa role or it could be some like intricate cool photo does not matter now down here this will not normally be checked off um so display role members separately now if you want your admins to stand out from everybody else that will make it to where they have their own separate little category and all people with this role will be separated from everybody else all right now we're gonna head over to permissions so it's just right to the right of display so here by making an admin role, you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom, find one, admit it. Click this on. Now, this is very dangerous to give to anybody. Only, only give it to people that you really, really trust. Because with this, they can delete the server, change server name, and do all kinds of stuff that you might not want them to do. So be careful who you give this to. Um, now, if you're done giving it all the permissions and display, you can press save changes. And now you have that role. Now, if you want to give it to the, the role to a member, um, there's two ways you can do it. The first way is you can scroll down, go to members, and click on the person you want to give it to. Find them, press this uh, plus button, and then give them the selected role. The other way that you can give a role to somebody is go to just the main part where you text, you know, chat, hang out. You're gonna go to the right side where it has the members. You're gonna left click on their name, so if you wanna, and press the plus button, and then you can give whatever role you want. So now they have it, and as you can see, I gave that role a color, and now his name highlighted in that color that I chose. Now, if you just wanna do a fun role, same thing, you're gonna press create role, name it, so I could name it, if it's a color role, I could name it red. Then I can select a my own color of red, or I can select what they already have. Now, just the same as the other one, you can also manage permissions. Okay, so say you made all of your roles, but you made, you didn't make your own role the first. Well, instead of deleting all of the things, which you absolutely did not do, just hold left click on whatever role you want to move and drag it up however much you want. So the green line shows where it's going to drop at. So if I want it above admin, I can just swipe it up there. And same for any any other role. You can move them around, change them like that. So again, left click and hold, hold it down and move it up or down. Okay, so maybe you have a um, member role or a role that you just want to see who all has that role. All you have to do is go to your roles again and put, without clicking on any roles or create role and then see who how many people have that role. If you want to see who has it just click on the little person and you can see that I have it and some and then one other person has it and it also shows it here when you're editing the role. That's going to be it for this video. If this video helped, please make sure to like and share it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have an awesome week.